that your nail? Okay, stand by nail. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston, 1 minute, 30 seconds, LOS, all systems go, over. Houston, Columbia, Houston, 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 Houston,
This is Houston. We're copying. Surgeon says that camera installed on the ICU bracket. Surgeon says 
surgeon says the crew is doing well. Data is good, crew is doing well. And I'm still in the LEC on the secondary stretch. Out and take some of my first pictures here. All right, Roger, Neil, we're reading you loud and clear. Let's, let's see, getting some pictures and uh, the contingency sample. Five and a half minutes of PLSS time expended now. Houston, uh, do you copy about the contingency sample over? Houston, 
Roger up. Okay, without any 
45 minutes PLSS time expended. Neil, this is Houston. Based on your camera transfer with the LEC and SRC transfer over. Negative. That's the sample return containers, the rock boxes that Capcom... I want to uh, back up and partially close that. PLSS is nominal on consumables. Big rock there now. Patch. 
captured it. Again, please, Buzz, you're cutting out. And uh, just a minute, please, Buzz. I say that the rocks are rather slippery. Roger. Very powdery. Biotite is a brown mica substance. 
Okay, Houston, I'm gonna change lenses on you. Uh, Roger, Neil. We got you four sided, but uh, back to one you're side. For those who haven't uh, read the plaque, uh, we'll read the plaque that's on the front landing gear of this lamp. There's, there's two hemispheres, one showing each of the two hemispheres of Earth. Underneath it says, Dear men from the planet Earth, first set foot upon the moon, July 1969, AD. It came in peace for all mankind. It has the, the crew members' signatures and the signature of the President of the United States. Travel there. Yeah. 
I think I got the end of it. Something interesting in the bottom of this uh, little crater here. It maybe. Uh, I keep going. We got we got a lot more. You stand on the ladder facing Y strut is the landing gear to your left. Hey, I am, bud. 40, 50 feet. Why don't you turn around and let, uh, let them get a view from there and uh, okay. see what you look like. You're backing into the cable. Okay. Roger, and we see the shadow of the limb. 
in the hills. Roger, the, the little hills just beyond the shadow of the limb uh, is a, a pair of elongate craters. Uh, about uh, probably the pair together is 40 feet long and 20 feet across, and they're probably six feet deep. We'll probably get some water at work in there later. Roger, and we see Buzz going about his work. How's that for a final? Uh, uh, for a final orientation, we'd like it to come left about uh, five degrees over. Uh, back to the right about half as much. Okay. Seven minutes time expended. Okay, you can make a mark, Houston. Roger, following. solar wind experiment now. system is still looking good.
that part. Go out here with them. Head up to the rock here. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston and ALS over. Houston and ALS over. Neil Armstrong's been on the lunar surface now almost 45 minutes. Houston reading you loud and clear over. Yeah, this is Houston reading. Yeah, reading you loud and clear. How's it going? Roger, the EVA is progressing beautifully. Uh, I believe they're setting up the flag now. Great. I guess you're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. Yeah. Do you need to pull that end off a little bit? 
Neil, this is Houston, radio check over.
Landmark ID, LEM. T1-110-26-5-0. One one zero three two zero six three miles south. Time of closest approach one one zero three three four zero. Shaft three five three decimal eight five five. Trunnion four six. Decimal four nine or five. Roll zero. Pitch two five zero. Yaw zero. Over. Buzz, 
this is Houston. You're cutting out on the end of your transmission. Can you uh, speak a little more closely into your microphone over? Roger, I'll try that. Beautiful. Now I had that one inside my mouth that time. It sounded a little wet. A little wet. Neil's been on the surface an hour now. Oh, Buzz, not quite 20 minutes less than that. In general, uh, time spent uh, in the shadow doesn't seem uh, have any uh, thermal effects. Columbia, this is Houston, over. Columbia, Delta. Roger, you should have VHF ALS with the LEM right about now. VHF LOS will be at 4-0 minutes, 1-5 seconds, over. on both crewmen averaging uh, between 90 and 100. Flight surgeon reports they're uh, right on the predicted number of the uh, BTU units expended in energy of work. And he thinks they're in great shape. I look around the area, the, uh, the contrast in general is... Uh by virtue of the shadows, almost feet, looking down sun, zero phase, very light colored gray, light gray colored, like a halo, uh, around my own shadow, around the shadow of my uh, helmet. Uh, then as I look, Uh, the general 
You can see Neil Armstrong bringing scoop. I'll be taking about 30 to 40 feet uh, out the bus. filling the bulk sample bag at in the picture. Buzz is behind the lamb at the minus Z strut. That's the landing gear directly opposite the ladder. Neil's been on the surface about an hour and ten minutes now.
Buzz is making his way around the limb, photographing it from various angles, uh, looking at its condition on all sides. Neil still occupied with the uh, bulk sample. One hour, 40 minutes time expended on the PLSSs now. And Columbia, this is Houston while I'm talking to you. LOS will be at 111 and 1931. AOS 1120543. Over. Did you copy LOS, AOS signs? Over.
Dark deflector that's uh, mounted on quad one seems to be uh, a good bit more wrinkled. That's right now on quad four. Uh, you're breaking up again, Buzz. Breaking up again, Buzz. I say the uh, jet deflector that's mounted on quad four seems to be, uh, the surface of it seems to be more wrinkled. Uh, one that's on quad one. Generally, uh, uh, underneath part of the lamp seems to have uh, stood up quite well to the uh, uh, pictures uh, in the uh, half part of the lamp that some uh, illuminate uh, the thermal effects much better than, than we could uh, get them up here in the front. Roger up. and Neil has Uh, Neil and Buzz, this is Houston. Uh, to clarify my lab, uh, your consumables are uh, in good shape at this time. The 30 minute reference was with respect to the nominal timeline. Over.
Neil's been on the surface now uh, slightly over an hour and 20 minutes. Take an angle, Neil. The laser reflector. They're open, and it looks like they're going to stay up without any problem. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston. We're about to lose you on the Omnis. Request high gain antenna. React mode. Pitch two zero. Yaw one three five. Over. Make that yaw 175, Columbia, yaw 175 on the high game. Columbia's locked up on the high game, Houston. Roger that.
The surgeon says everything looks fine. An hour and a half of lunar surface time for Neil Armstrong. They've been on the portable life support systems for two hours now. And the manual uh, deployment of the uh That's Neil Armstrong to the left of the screen. By that doors are closed and locked. Okay. Have you got us a good area for down? Well, I think right out on that rise out there is probably as good as any. Buzz Aldrin coming into view on the right, carrying the two experiments. About 40 feet out, I'd say out to the end of that next... Uh... Well, it's going to be a little difficult to find a good level spot here. Uh, top of that next little ridge there, isn't that, that be a pretty good place?
and they will be out of the camera's field of view while setting up these experiments. seismic experiment uh, it's over now and I'm aligning it with the sun. I'm having a little bit of difficulty getting the beef going to center. wants to uh, move around and around on the outside. Oh, you're cutting out again, boys. I 
baby likes the outside and won't go on the inside. discussing is on a leveling device on the uh, passive size monitor. Neil, this is Houston, over. All right, Roger, we've been looking at your consumables, and you're in, you're in good shape. Uh, subject to your concurrence, we'd like to extend the duration of the EVA one five minutes from nominal. We will still give Buzz a hack at ten minutes prior for uh, heading in your current Elapsed time is 2 plus 12, over. Okay, that sounds fine. Roger up. time expended on the uh, PLSS. This is Houston. If you're still in the vicinity of the PSE, could you get a photograph? Oh, 
shoot. The ball is right in the middle now. Picture for it moves. Uh, Neil, this is Houston. Uh, we're estimating about 10, 10 minutes for the document sampling. Over. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston. Over. I'd like you to terminate charging battery Bravo at uh, 111 plus 15. Over. Come on right now. Roger. Uh, Buzz, this is Houston. Uh, you've got about 10 minutes left now prior to commencing your EVA termination activities. Over. Tranquility Base, this is Houston. The Pathia Seismic Experience has been uncaged, and we're observing short period oscillations in it. Over. Neil Armstrong has been on the surface now about an hour and 50 minutes.
In the foreground, Buzz Aldrin is collecting a core tube sample. I hope you're watching uh, how hard I have to hit this into the ground uh, to the tune of about five inches, Houston. Roger. The core tubes provide material. Get the next one. Maybe you can get away the box a little bit. I'll take care. Buzz, this is Houston. You have approximately three minutes until you must commence your EVA termination activities. Over. Roger, understand. Okay, this is Houston. Approximately one minute to LOS. Over. plan on uh, commencing your sleep on the back side this path? Uh, if so, we'll disable uplink to you while we're talking to the LAM. Over. Okay. And you want to 
I'll pick up some stuff and I'll get these specific ones. Throw the solar wind in. Buzz Aldrin retrieving the solar wind experiment. Uh, Buzz, this is Houston. It's about time for you to start your EVA closeout activities. Roger. They've been on their life support system. On their life support systems, two hours and twenty-five minutes. to be picking up rocks to the right of the screen. Yeah. Neil and Buzz, this is Houston. I'd like to remind you of the close-up camera magazine before you start up the ladder, Buzz. Roger, Neil, and Buzz. Uh, let's uh, press on with getting the close-up camera magazine and closing out of the sample return container. We're running a little low on time. Roger. We want to keep a good margin in those portable life support systems.
white dot right above the horizon on the right is a phosphorus spot from the TV converter in the park station in Australia. Neil's been on the surface a few minutes longer than two hours. Buzz, uh, approximately 20 minutes less than that. Uh, Neil, this is Houston. Did the Hasselblad magazine go off on that uh, sample return container also?
Transferring the sample containers into the limb cabin now. Uh oh. Camera came off. I mean, the film bag came off. Houston, uh, request an EMU check over. The Lick Observatory in California reports a return on the laser experiment. Hey, and Bugs, for your information, your consumables remain in good shape. Uh Okay. 
Okay, I'll get it the rest of the way. Okay. And I'll give it to you to uh, pull away just a second. Have a little more. Two hours, 40 minutes on the PLSSs. Neil, Mr. Pearson, did you get the Ethel Boy magazine? Mr. Pearson, did you get the Ethel Boy magazine? Yes, I did. And we got about uh, 10 minutes to go before we got in the car. Okay, Mr. Pearson, did you get the Ethel Boy magazine? Yes, I did. Did you get the Ethel Boy magazine? Yes, I did. Okay, Mr. Pearson, did you get the Ethel Boy magazine? Yes, I did. Did you get the Ethel Boy Unofficial time off the surface at 111.37.32. Uh, uh, start arching your back. That's good. Plenty of room. There, I'm right. Arch your back a little. Your head's up again. Uh, uh, roll right just a little bit. Get down. And in good shape. Thank you. I'm bumping now. Now you're clear. You're rubbing up against me a little bit. This is Houston, go ahead. Yeah. 
you're cutting out, Neil. Uh, you're not readable. Uh, I understand you said something about a contingency sample container on the uh, S10 engine. Not reading you, Neil. Buzz, buzz. This is Houston. Do you read over? Uh, Tranquility Base. This is Houston. We're reading neither one of you, but standing by. Cabin pressure coming up uh, about 2.789 pounds. Up to three now. Four PSI now. Please show the cabinet.